Hello, beautiful creative. Thanks for joining me again in the studio. Today, I want to focus on molding, resin, and alcohol inks. I've included a list of supplies so that you know what we're working with. And the first thing we want to do is measure our resin. Now, normally casting resin is one part to one part. So there I've measured out part one. And you can see I've measured out an equal portion of part two. I mixed my resin for the allotted time, and I was sure to stir the sides and the bottoms, the scrape the sides and the bottom of my cup. That's really important when you're mixing resin. You want to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. The other important fact is that you want to let the resin sit for about 10 minutes in your cup, unless you're working with fast cure resin, so that the resin has a chance to degas and the bubbles have a chance to rise to the surface. You'll never get rid of all of the bubbles, but you can get rid of a good portion of them if you just let it sit for about 10 minutes is usually what I aim for. So I'm measuring out my resin, and this is the resin I'm going to use to tint into four different colors for the inside of this bare, I guess bare head resin mold. They're soap dish molds. My daughter uses all these cutesy little things like this, so I was trying to come up with a cute little pattern for her um, to actually store her rings or her watch, different things like that in. I didn't think she was actually going to use it as a soap dish. So I've stirred up my resin into four different colors, and I'm also including a little bit of pinata white. So I think it's called Blanco Blanco so that I have a few more options. I wasn't quite sure yet how I was going to do this, whether I was going to leave it candy colored or I was going to mix in the Blanco Blanco and turn them into pastel colors. But I really liked how kind of candy colored these were, how kind of jewel toned they were. So I left them as is. I'm just pouring the colors into the mold and stirring the cup before I do, making sure that I get as much color off the sides of the cup as I can. Because when you put alcohol inks into resin, they tend to, the alcohol inks tend to stick to the sides of the cup. So I wanted to try to get as much of that as I could out of the cup and into the mold. So I'm just manipulating the mold, trying to get the, the colored resin to sink down into the bear's ears. Really nothing difficult about it. You just don't want to have any areas of air bubbles. And where you can see in the middle of that bear's ear, it's white. That's a big old air bubble. So we want to get rid of that. Otherwise, you will have a great big void when you take the resin out of the mold after it cures. So we're just going to keep adding. There, I'm getting rid of the, the air bubble. We're just going to keep adding the different colors until all four colors are put into this little bear head. I guess that's the best thing to call it. Bear head, bear noggin, bear melon, bear, you know what I mean, the big thing that sits on his shoulders. So I chose pink, green, and these are T-Rex inks, by the way. I chose pink, green, purple, and that kind of emerald green um, out of the T-Rex line because I liked how they all went together. And I just, like I said, I liked how juicy the colors looked. And aren't they fantastic? I really am impressed with this T-Rex line of inks. So if you're looking for a cheap brand of ink that has great color saturation and comes in these jumbo sized bottles, the bottles have 33% more than say the Ranger brand has and the inks are much cheaper than the Ranger brand. So I highly recommend these inks. I've been really happy with them so far. So as we finish up pouring the resin into the bear's head, I did want to go ahead. First, I'm going to add, I'm going to top the mold off with some clear resin only because in the four cups that I used, I didn't have enough resin to completely level off the mold. So I'm just topping off the mold there. 
And I decided I did want to add the Blanco Blanco, but I don't want to mix it in with the, the jewel colors. So I'm just going to drip some in the back. I have no idea what it's going to look like in the front, but we're going to add some to the back just for some variation in the center of his head because we put the colors mostly around the edges. And we'll see what that adds to the center once it's cured. So we move over to the rest, the rest of the resin that's left in the cup. And I think this is Tim Holtz's Gold Mixative. I'm pretty sure that's the color I used. And I'm just mixing that into the resin that I have left in my cup. Now, with this resin, it's art. I think it's called Art and Glow Resin. You have about 40, 45 minutes working time with this resin. So I really wasn't concerned about the resin setting up before I had a chance to get it in the mold. We had a lot of time left to work with it before it, it started to harden. So I added the, the gold mixative. And now I'm going to add the pinata brass. And it you may ask, why are you putting pinata brass in when it's already gold? And it's because the pinata brass has more of a flaky glitter, where the mixative is more of a metallic look to it. Um, the mixative is more of a solid gold, where the pinata brass is more of kind of a glittery gold. So I wanted to add both of them together to have the variation and some depth into my next soap mold. So my next, or my next soap dish mold. So my next soap dish is just a regular soap dish mold. Nothing special about it. Yep. I've got something stuck to the outside of the mold. Oh, well, it's all right. Um, I wanted to add some depth to this mm -hmm. because it is just a plain shape. Mm -hmm. So I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring. Mm -hmm. It seems like she snores in every video, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. See, she's loud. You wouldn't guess that she's mm -hmm. like a six pound chihuahua, would you? But mm -hmm. I wanted to add some depth because this does, the shape doesn't have mm -hmm. a lot of characteristic to it. And I really liked the color that I wound up with when I mixed the gold mixative mm -hmm. with the pinata brass. So I'm just topping off the mold using the rest of my resin. Really mm -hmm. is very simple. And I hope mm -hmm. that this shows you how easy it is to work with resin so that maybe it takes some of the fear out of working with resin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to quickly go over the backs mm -hmm. of the resin just to pop the air bubbles mm -hmm. that have risen to the top in each mold. So it's very simple. That's all there is to it. We set it aside for about 36 mm -hmm. hours and we come back to the molds and they're hard. Mm -hmm. And you can tell by me trying to bend them mm -hmm. that both of them are completely set up and ready to go. So it's time to demold both of our soap dishes. Mm -hmm. This is the more complicated mold to demold mm -hmm. because it has the bare ears. So it's a little bit trickier mm -hmm. to get it out of the mold. But it wasn't terrible. It wasn't difficult at all. So we'll flip our mold back inside out or right side in or however you want to phrase it. And you can see where we added the white at the back. And it made kind of a, it almost looks like a powdery starburst in the middle. So that turned out really cute and really what I was hoping to make for my daughter. And now this one is going to go in my guest bathroom. Um, I'm going to leave a bar of soap in this one just for decoration. So we're going to flip that mold back the right way as well and mm -hmm. you can see how that pinata brass really did make a difference mm -hmm. there's lots of sparkle and lots of gold mm -hmm. in that dish while it's still being a little bit translucent and that's mm -hmm. it i'm so glad you joined me for another video and i hope that you learned something this was so easy to do i really hope that this mm -hmm. gives you confidence to work with resin if you have any questions mm -hmm. drop them in the comments below i'm glad you joined me i had fun making this video and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm. thanks for joining me bye